All right, everybody, welcome back to Getting Outdoors Radio Network. We're live at Roland Cooper State Park at Gator Season. But what I want to talk with with Chaz Moore and Mike Clullen right now is some dove season. Now, doves is one of my favorite birds to hunt, Chaz. And up at the Cahaba Wildlife Management Area, talk about what y'all are doing up there and, and getting ready for the dove season. It is a process, isn't it? Right, we, we probably got 35 to 40 acres that's planted in brown top millet, and it's the best millet I've seen that we've planted yet. Well, you, um, you, 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 you ain't had enough rain, probably. It ain't no, you ain't having no drought <laughs> problems this right. year. Right, we've had plenty of rain, and it just worked out great. We've, we've got a number of stri old strip mines there that, that you know really aren't good for timber but they are great places to plant for doves and, and, and we've, we've cleaned up quite a bit of it and planted a good bit of acreage. Uh, but it has really done great. And we, we've got, I, I don't know, venture to say close to a thousand doves on the, on the one area on our reclaim. A thousand? Now, now At how, least. how does that work on a wildlife management area? Do you just have to have a hunting license? Is it open to the public? How do y'all do dove it, It's open there? to the public. Uh, the same as the state season there's no special hunts like a youth hunt or anything like that so whenever the season is in you can hunt on the wildlife management area however it is afternoon only throughout the season mm -hmm. whereas on private lands it's afternoon only on opening day and then the rest of the the season you can hunt during the mornings but not on a wildlife management area afternoons only okay and so and so in order to do that do y'all put that out I mean how do people know about it yeah, we have our, our map permits that we issue every year, and it'll have the season dates and the times and, and all the guidelines that they would need to know about before they could hunt. All right, now in Alabama, I think the season comes in September the 9th, right in the north. September zone. 8th. September the 8th Saturday in the north the zone. You can't hunt that morning. Why do they do that? Why do they, why do they make them wait? I've never got a clear answer on that. Well, you supposed to know that. <laughs> you, 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 don't the wildlife biologists recommend when the season comes Yeah, in? yeah. <laughs> But it's always the afternoon. It is. It's day. always been that for a while. And then after that, it's, you can hunt in the morning. You can hunt in the morning. All right. So if somebody's listening up there around the Cahaba Wildlife Management Area and they want a dove hunt, tell tell them what they got to do to do that. Well, actually, to hunt on a wildlife management area, all you have to have to dove hunt is a small game license. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a management area license. A wildlife management area license is good for deer and turkey. But for a dove, small game license is good, uh, or a heritage license. A wildlife heritage license is actually included on your fishing license. So, you know, maybe your wife or girlfriend hadn't got a hunting license, but she's got a fishing license. Well, she's good to go in the wildlife management area and hunt dove and squirrel and rabbit okay. and things like that. I did not know that. And you will, and you will uh, uh, open up the door. Is it open every day, or do y'all just have certain days you can hunt? Some management areas are open on certain days, and Cahaba used to be open. I think it was Saturdays and Wednesdays, mm -hmm. but now it's open every day throughout the season. We've got a big enough dove population that we can support that, uh, so we don't have any problem with that. All right, we were talking. We were talking before the show started this morning about the federal regulations on dove hunting. Right. That's and the way that they were written were for migratory birds. Exactly. Am I correct about You're that? You're right, migratory game birds. All right, now what, are we, what about hunting these resident birds that we got <laughs> down here? Because I got enough resident birds, we don't <laughs> right. even want a migratory bird to come down here. Yeah, that's a loose term, you know, so to speak. A dove is considered a migratory game bird, but you well, know, these Alabama resident, but we need to, we need to split the season and, and hunt resident doves and migratory birds. Resident doves we ought to be able to beat them, I think. <laughs> 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 I hope Chuck ain't listening. <laughs> well, the way it's written in the book, I mean, with the guidelines on planting, you know, you can you can manipulate fields and yeah. top sow grain. It's pretty uh, easy. It really is it, pretty easy now, know. but you gotta be careful. You just don't ever know right. uh, whether you're legal or you're not legal. But that's certainly that's certainly something that I, that I think me and old Hale Smith started that conversation about, oh, four or five years ago uh, when they started every year 
or introducing legislation to be able to shoot a deal with feed, you ought to be able to shoot birds over <laughs> feed too, I think. But anyway, it's coming up September the 9th. Uh, you can Cahaba Wildlife Management area. You can go online. I'm sure Outdoor Alabama uh, website's got everything about yeah, you, you need. There'll, there'll be the map permit. You can print it offline. Uh, they're not quite available yet. Hopefully they'll be in by dove season. Mm -hmm. If they're not, you'll just use your old permit from last year with the state season dates. Okay. And I know, I know that was a problem too on the new app, the new Outdoor Alabama app, because I got several phone calls about it and Mary Ann Hudson assured me she was gonna get it corrected. I should have looked on the app. It says dove season comes in on September the, it was a Sunday, I forget the, the night, date. Yeah, it's actually the 8th. The 8th, yeah, that's right. And and uh, so, it's, dove season does not come in on Sunday. It comes in on at 12 o'clock on Saturday, September the 8th, right? right. In right. the north zone. Now, I don't know nothing about When does the south zone? It comes a week later, right? Let's see. You got I don't the know, that's way down there. Out yeah, of we, we, it's out of our, it's out of our pay scale, the <laughs> south zone. South zone. September 15th. Okay, so that's a, that's a week later. September the 15th. And I was thinking it used to be later than that, didn't it? I don't know. I, all I know about is the North Zone, but I have old Wes Moore down there at Alligator Alley. Now I know he's got some doves down there in Baldwin County that are something else. I think they're resident birds too. So uh, the resident birds and the migratory birds, as a wildlife biologist, how do you distinguish the two? I think the resident birds are smaller than the, I know when those migratory birds come in, they are they seem to be a lot bigger than the, than the resident yeah, and birds. And they usually don't, they don't come in until December. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty fast. Yeah, they gonna, <laughs> that first big cold snap right. you got, they gonna come Whenever in. Whenever the snow gets on the ground up north is when we'll see them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's, that's what the laws, rules, and regulations are made in Alabama for the migratory birds, although we do have resident birds here, and I got a bunch of them in Canton Bend, Alabama. Where, do you got a bunch of doves, Mike? We, we, we're getting a few. I was looking at some yesterday afternoon. We, uh, we got two fields planted, and uh, I'm get, get in the process of preparing them now, and already seeing some. Our millet is looking great. This year's one of the best years we've had on my millet stand. Unfortunately, as much as I love to uh, dove hunt, I will not be able to go opening, opening day. Well, you must be cleaning the river up there. No, um, actually a real good friend of mine decided to let his fiance schedule their wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to decide, friend, hunting, friend. That hunting, messes you know, up a lot of hunts right there. Yeah, but I, that's okay, I wouldn't miss his wedding. <laughs> so so uh, my buddies over there are saving uh, one of the fields for me. I said, I'll right. hunt this first one and then we'll hunt the second field when I come. Well, it ain't nothing I like better than to sit in a, a good dove field. I can't hit them. I love to shoot at them. I can't hit them. I've tried. Uh, I've tried. I've, I've been to I've been to, to skeet shoots with some of the best wing shooters in the world tried to teach me how to lead them and how to follow them and how to get behind them and get in the head of them. And I still can't hit the darn thing. <laughs> it's tough sometimes. Every now and then I'm not one out, but I enjoy, I really enjoy uh, doing it. It's right around the corner. Football season right around the corner. Chad, it's your time of the year, ain't it? It is. We're about to get ramped up here. What about deer season, Cahaba Wildlife Management Area? Talk about that a minute. We've got about two more minutes and I'm gonna let you go home. Well, it's it's the same, like bow season is the same, same as the state season, first off. Mm -hmm. But we have certain days that you can actually gun deer hunt there. So we'll have a youth deer hunt the weekend before the gun deer hunt, the Saturday and Sunday before the, the actual start of the season. And then throughout the season is select weekend days, for like a Friday or a Saturday or sometimes a Saturday and Sunday, and we've actually done Friday, Saturday, and Sundays in the past, so mm -hmm. just refer to your maps when they come out. Uh, like I said, they should be out by September, sometime in September, and they'll have the complete guide for all the management areas mm -hmm. and the dates. And you can go to outdooralabama.com also, but then also right. I saw the other day, right quick, well, uh, one of the wildlife management areas, they're gonna let you kill what, uh, extra buck? Do you, are yeah, you familiar with that? We, we did that last year on Cahaba, although we didn't have any bucks killed on that day. It was a bad weather day or something, and 
I think it rained all day and nothing was brought in. And they do that as an incentive for people to hunt the wildlife. Right. So if you've already got three bucks, yeah, you can you come, can back come on to the that wild. Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And or if you, it doesn't have to be your fourth buck. It could be your second buck. You can still get four bucks for the year. So that bonus. second buck at a wildlife management area that does that, it doesn't count, it, it towards, doesn't your count overall, towards your overall. Right. That, that's pretty good right. stuff. And a lot of people don't know about that. So right. that's I'm glad we we brought that up. Well, I got to. I gotta take my second break. I'm gonna let you go. I thought a gator was pulling up here a while ago. Yeah. That, that's old Randy and them been up gator hunting all night. But Chaz, thanks for all you do, man. Thanks for having and, me. Enjoyed it. And uh, although you did have to work two nights this year, right? You were one of the few that had to work two nights. I'm gonna see next year. I, who was it I was telling last night? I want Joe Goddard here next year, and I want y'all to recruit Dan Quincy back here next year. <laughs> okay. Because old Andrew was here from, from, he's down there in the wild grass, and he worked last night. So I want Dan Quincy to work next year. We'll get on that. <laughs> Thank you, Chaz. <laughs> right. Boy, y'all, uh, Cahaba Wildlife Management area, y'all go check him out. Stop by and see him. Great guy, great friend to getting outdoors radio. He's my... He's my go-to biologist when I got a question. He's always got an answer. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in a minute. We have got a distinguished Camden citizen just named as one of the movers and shapers of Alabama. Going to be on the set next on Getting Outdoors Radio Network. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back.